Hi, good day. This is Jonathan Hudson, and today I'm going to demonstrate installing MWP tools into a freshly installed Ubuntu-like operating system. So first of all, I'm going to log into this pretty fresh um, version of elementary OS, which is pretty much Ubuntu long-term support with uh, a different user interface. So first thing I'm going to do is go and off to GitHub and find the MWP tools repository. And as, as you can see from the application menu here, there's almost nothing on, uh, on this system at all. So here we are. This is the uh, MWP tools GitHub repository. If I scroll down, I get to the installation bit and it tells me I should review and install the dependencies for my platform and in the document documentation directory there are dependencies for Fedora and Debian or Ubuntu like systems and elementary is an Ubuntu like system then tells me to clone the repository and then change into the directory compile it install it well sounds easy let's see how easy it is so first of all the documentation directory and at the bottom here Ubuntu dependencies and it gives a list of things I need to install using the apt apt package manager some things that I'm going to have to do manually then tells me again how to clone the repository changing the MWP tools directory make it and install it and then some extra things, so um, I can install Blackbox, so I can replay Blackbox logs in, 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 in MWP. It also tells me at the bottom that actually I can use this file to install everything. Well, that sounds like a, a really easy way to do it. So in order to get this file, I'm going to have to clone the repository. So I'm going to copy that command, minimize the browser, open a terminal and here we are and there is pretty much nothing it's a basic install in my home directory so actually the first thing I'm going to do is make a directory called projects because I put all my built stuff in something called projects so there we are change into projects it's empty so what was I going to do I was going to clone the directory clone the repository and of course, I have to have Git installed, and I haven't done that. For Elementary OS very kindly tells me what I need to do to install it. So I'm going to paste that onto the command line. And off it goes, gets Git, and installs it. And it may be the first time you do uh, a command with sudo, command with sudo um, on elementary it'll put up a big warning telling you Ooh, you're using sudo this is really dangerous well yep you're using sudo and maybe it's really dangerous next thing to do I'm going to change into the MWP tools directory I haven't I haven't downloaded it yet have I first things first git clone the repository well we're on Nestle Marsh's antediluvian broadband this will take forever so I'm going to let it start and then I'll just pause the video for a moment and come back when it's finished because it will sit at something like 32% for quite a while so there we are it says it's cloning it into MWP tools and it's now going to take a little while so I think that probably took about a minute um, and we should now have a directory and there's stuff in it um, various directories for the various components of it and the docs, the documentation directory that we read about on GitHub so um, I can actually remember that the file was called Ubuntu something and of course we have tab completion in the shell so I can just docs isn't it um, I can just press the tab key a couple of times and it will complete the file name for me and here we are the bit at the bottom was 
copy this file into the temp directory and actually I'm not in the docs directory, I'm in the one above it, so put that there, make it executable. and run it. And it lists a whole load of stuff it wants to install. So I'm going to let it do it. And I have a repository cache on my next on, on my network which means that this doesn't take quite as long time as uh, downloading everything from the, 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 the MWP two tools GitHub repository did. So we'll just let this run, it's got about 15 seconds to go and just while it's doing that I'm going to open uh, another uh, another tab here in case I need that. So let's go back, how am I doing? Nearly done. Okay, this is a bit like paint dry, watching paint dry, so I'm just going to pause the video for a minute until this finishes its installation. Okay, and it's now finished the installation. Um, a couple of things were already on the machine, but um, it's, it's pretty much installed everything else I needed. Um, and I'm, I'm going to ignore the fact that there's a, there's a couple of old packages on this machine that I don't need anymore. Now, there was one important bit hidden actually in the top of those instructions, and that's in my other tab here. And after the initial install, it tells me for this particular library, libvalidev, there may be a specific compiler version of it that I need. Um, and I can't automatically install that because it would just break the install. So two things I'm going to do here is I've got to go and search for it and then I've got to install the compiler specific version that I need. So back to here, sudo again, paste. And it helps if you get it right. So I want this one, it's the current version. And actually, I don't think it matters if you don't install this, but let's do it anyway. Okay, we're done. Fantastic. Um, the instructions then told me next to, and I'm just going to put a hash in front of here, so it's, uh, it's a comment, not a, a, an actual command. Next told me that I need to type make and then sudo make install. So the first part of this command, make, actually builds the application. And I'm going to do this as my user so I don't pollute the permissions in my home directory. And then as the application gets installed into a system area, I need the sudo make install at the end. So let's remove the comment at the front of it and see what happens. And it's doing stuff. And we get a pile of warnings. And this is because the language MWP is written in, which is called Valor, effectively converts its source code into C language source code and the C compiler um, then compiles that. So if we're getting warnings from the C compiler from the C that Valor has generated, that's fine. If we get warnings from the Valor compiler, then something's broken. So it completed uh, in a flash of an eye and it's installed a whole load of stuff and if I type MWP from the command line, something should happen. And something happens. We've got the MWP window. It's loading the, the Netly Marsh map, which is its home. It's got the message editor at the moment floating over the map. It's got the dock here with a set of dock icons for things we can put into the dock. And I'm going to talk about those in the next video, not in this one. For the time being, I'm just going to 
exit it. So there we are, probably about 10 minutes uh, coping with Netly Marsh's wonderful internet connection. We've installed MWP. That wasn't really very hard, was it? And if we go back to the system applications, we'll now see this category here of other wasn't there before. And if we click, so we've seen that MWP has installed itself and also the area planner into the other category of system applications. And just to show that they run from here as well, first of all, the area planner. The area planner, we can create missions within this, a this area. And there's a video um, out there that shows you how that works. And stop, hit the right menu, MWP. And in the next video, we'll talk about getting the mission editor into the dock getting these dock icons into the dock and how we actually configure MWP so for a start the home location is not Thetley Marsh Recreation Ground but is somewhere where you want to fly. So that's it for today, thanks very much for watching and I hope that's taken some of the difficulty or mystery out of installing MWP into an Ubuntu like uh, Linux distribution. Thank you very much.